call me the fireman. Lum, come like a blessing. Lum, come like a blessing, Lum. Lum, come like a blessing. Hey YouTube, it's Brie aka Smartista Beauty and today I am finally back with more videos and I'm giving you an update on this hair that I did for the Cream of Nature Shine In Color, basically hair makeover, color makeover, everything. So yeah, I want to just tell you a little bit about my trip and um, how much fun it was. I, I literally had a blast and the ladies there were Excellent. We went with myself, Lipstick and Curls, aka Jade Kendall, um, Yolanda Renee from Etc. Blog Mag, and of course Gabe Flowers from Gabe Babe TV and The Gabe Fix. So yeah, all of those ladies, beautiful, gorgeous. Follow them. I'm gonna put all their info in the description box, as well as links to all of Cream of Nature's products and basically anything that we may have used and anything you might see in this video and um, more information about how we achieved this strawberry blonde and copper color on my hair so um oh no my nails this is what happens when you do your nails and then you gesture a lot okay so um just to start off with my hair today what I did was it was a twist out and you know when your twist outs don't dry all the way they get super frizzy it's been really humid today so yeah I haven't done a twist out on my hair in super long and this isn't necessarily my best twist out but I was like hey let's film today so yeah I did that just to show you that um, my curls are still 100% intact they haven't loosened or anything like that my hair is a little bit coarser which always happens when I dye my hair regardless if I'm going like like brown or if I'm going platinum blonde. My hair always gets a little bit more coarse when I dye it. So to combat that, all I do is just deep condition and um, let's see. Let's just start at the beginning of the trip. All right, let's do this. All right, so I was up bright, bright, bright and early for my uh, eight o'clock flight. Yes. Hey guys, it's Brie, AKA Smartista Beauty. It's like four in the morning and I'm packing to go to Jacksonville today and yeah so it's kind of what it's looking like over here lots of lots of stuff <laughs> just kind of in array but I've been cleaning up and stuff too so it's nice to come back to like a a clean place after you get back from a, a trip so yeah and I got my hair in this t-shirt like a little bit ratchetly but yeah my flight leaves at like 8 in the morning so I'm just trying to like get everything together right now. Alright guys. So myself and the ladies flew out to Jacksonville, Florida and we were met by some lovely drivers which you will see here. Another hair blogger. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. You want to say hi to the people? Yeah, my name's Ed. Hi, how are you, everybody? Hi, Ed. Ed's going to take me to the hotel, guys. Wish so. I had some of your hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, lots and lots and lots of hair. <laughs> And then, after meeting the drivers, we were taken to a beautiful, beautiful hotel. Um, the rooms were fantastic. If you guys followed me on Snapchat, which I said in the previous video, then you will you saw basically how dope everything was. And the view of the ocean was fantastic. Everything was just lovely, marvelous. And we were able to get um, some spa treatment. If you follow the Cream of Nature page, then you saw... The day I did the takeover, I went to the spa, the beach, I got smoothies, which I think I'll include a picture here. Oh yeah, okay, so then we did a super duper long day at the salon, and it was exhausting, but it was so worth it to really erase some of the red and tone it down into like a pink color and I'll show you how blonde my hair got in a picture over here. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see like more pictures from the experience but yeah that was how blonde my hair got. Um, a lot of people were asking on Instagram how I got my hair super blonde without any bleach used. All that was used was the Cream of Nature Exotic Shine hair color. No bleach whatsoever just you know of course the box has a higher level of developer to lift your hair a certain number of shades but no bleach was used so yeah it was just the shade ginger blonde and also okay fun fact I tried using a blonde from cream of nature on my dyed hair once and it took it to a, like a brownish color like a light brown and the reason for that is 
I'm trying to think of a good way to explain it, but like hair that's already been dyed is harder to dye again, like if that makes sense, because the shaft is already open, color has been deposited, so it's hard to lay down new color. Whereas virgin hair picks up color so well. So um, basically all that seven months of new growth that uh, you guys saw on um, the video one, they were able to dye it super duper blonde, as you can see. Yeah, so they took all that new growth and they really focused the blonde and the highlights on the front section of my hair and they kept the back this copper color. And to get the back this copper color, they used a mixture of red copper and medium warm brown in the Exotic Shine hair color dyes and it came out to what we have here. Yeah. Hey everybody, I'm here, Kelvin Myers, the makeup artist. I'm here with the Cream of Nature group with these amazing bloggers doing amazing color today and amazing makeovers. We are so excited for you to see the outcome. So I'm at the salon right now and we're starting my color. I'm so excited and it's gonna come out great. As you can see, <laughs> the fro is never more voluminous than ever, so. Now, after dyeing, you know, post treatment is so important, and I'm gonna do some follow up hair videos ASAP on uh, what I'm doing to, you know, take care of my hair now that it's, you know, blonde because blonde is an even harder color to maintain than, you know, some of the other colors that I've been. So, um, when we finished, they took the milk mask, which has like argan oil and a bunch of like really good ingredients in it, and they like saturated my whole head with it after, you know, of course, rinsing out all the color. And then they sat me under a hair steamer, and that was dope. Like, uh, it felt so good. Now I really want to invest in a steamer, guys. So, might be seeing that soon. Actually, I'll save that info for the next video because I have some really cool goodies um, and tips and tricks for maintaining color treated hair and I have some new staple products that are like really working well with the fro right now so yeah I'm gonna show you guys that really soon I also have an update video on these um amazing lip colors that are like dirt cheap that I found like I got when I say I got every color in the line guys I got so many of these because they're so pretty so yeah I have a ton of videos coming up for you guys, but um, I just wanted to say basically shout out to Cream of Nature and shout out to all the lovely ladies. You'll be seeing a lot more of us. We're having an event coming up soon in DC, which I'll be uh, letting you guys know more about ASAP. And yeah, I'm just super thrilled with the experience. We had so much fun and everybody was so nice and caring and the Cream of Nature team was bomb. They like really, really treated us well. Like. Uh, definitely great and then also the meet and greet the meet and greet was so much fun thankfully meeting all of you guys and your moms your aunts daughters cousins everything even having some like male fans and viewers come out was like really crazy amazing so I am just thrilled that I got to meet you guys in Jacksonville and stay tuned for more info on the DC meet and greet um, but yeah thank you guys and let me know what you think of my new color oh 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 one thing I forgot to mention is they actually colored my sides of my hair um, and they colored the back of my hair. Yeah, so that was really cool. And another thing that I was so nervous about but it came out really well, guys, is they actually colored my eyebrows a little uh, shade or two lighter to go a little more with the hair because my jet black dark brown brows were like clashing a bit with it. So yeah, that was like literally the first time I think I've ever 
ever had my eyebrows dyed so that was like cool um, I think they match a lot better with this hair color now though but as you can see um, guys my hair grows super fast like it's only been it hasn't even been a full week yet since the trip and you already see some dark roots coming in but honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to dark roots coming in because I love, love, love an ombre look with blonde. Like, I can't wait to get, like, a couple inches of new growth so I can, like, put my hair up in, like, little buns and stuff and have it, like, I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention this. How can I forget? Me and the ladies who did the make- uh, the makeovers. Me and the ladies who did the makeovers. Um, actually did on our last day there an amazing magazine shoot with Sophisticates Black Hair Magazine and I grew up with those in like the beauty salons every time I would go get my hair done like I was flipping through those so like we have a spread in there and I think that's so exciting it was a lot of fun the shoot was so much fun guys and stay tuned when that magazine drops I did a lot of behind the scenes work I can't show you guys yet until the magazine comes out but I'll probably do some vlogging of uh, you know my experience with the magazine shoot because it was so much fun. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and um, I hope this inspired someone to switch it up with their color for summer or do something bold. I always suggest if you're going to go blonde or really light to consult a professional first. If your hair isn't done properly, it's really, really hard to reverse the damage from that, so I always say if you're considering it, um, link up with a professional who has a good track record with coloring and is very well... Um, well versed in coloring and yeah go for it like I love color and um, stay tuned to my channel if you do decide to do that so you can see how to do some natural hair and curly hair maintenance oh, bye guys this bae say hi <laughs>